Hi everyone, this is Anna from Think About Zero Nine. Um, sorry if let's say I've been missing action for quite a while because um, I was quite busy at work. And um, today, this video, I'm actually gonna talk about concealers, like um, what I have and what is my thought about them, and maybe show you some of them how it actually appears on your skin. So um, basically, I'm not much of a concealer person, but as um, I actually get older, I realize that, you know, because I'm fat, so I got this hollow, you know, here, but so I think it's this pigmentation, and I've been doing scrubs, but, um, it's not really going away, so, might as well just make use of it as a contour, and, um, so, um, I mean, everyone, definitely, we have our own, you know, spots that you want to cover under eye bag I have under my eye bag as well and if you realize my forehead is actually more yellowish and darker than my skin I think this was actually like um like suntan or burn I'm not sure because I used to be in um, uniform group when I was in secondary school high school so a lot of tanning in the sun marching everything so it kind of caused all this pigmentation and of course my eyelid the discoloration due to the reason that um, previously I had eczema attack and it was like swollen dry and flaky and actually resulted in this discoloration and I believe it's also the very first time that I used the eyeshadow it was a purple one and I think it actually stained because when I was quite young I do not know what is eyelid primer so we don't actually have that at the half time so it kind of sucks so I have um, a few of the concealer on hand, some which I actually threw away. Previously I did a video but uh, I deleted it by accident so I couldn't upload that. So today I'm going to talk to you about concealer and sorry if my hair is a bit messy because I, I just got out of the shower and I just want to let it dry by itself before I actually style it further. Um, so the very first one, I mean the quite a couple I got from Elf and one of it is from Loka. So let me go here the Loka one first. The very first one that I've got is this um, Eye Zone Tinted Color Essence from Active House. No, this one is from Active Says, a Japanese brand. Okay, and. Um, They don't actually tell me what is the color, but I think I got the like the darkest one, and um, it's actually four gram. It's about 0.14 ounce, fluid ounce, and it's actually like um, a twist thing, and it's like you know, a, a felt tip. So what you need to do is that I'll just make swatches here. So this is how it looks like. It's definitely um, lighter than what I am, so if you were to blend it out. The lady actually told me to tap instead of like just drop it out. So it's here. If you can see, it's actually like one line there. So um, this thing is good, but I don't really enjoy this tape here because I had to... The very first time I applied this, I have to actually tweeze it out quite a couple of times before there's product actually um, here and also I dislike the fact that the cap is actually dirty because of the thing so I don't think that this is a very good coverage it's just more like highlight I think because it doesn't actually do wonders for my under eye bag so and that wasn't cheap that was like 40 I think 30 odd or 40 odd same dollars so it's about maybe 30, 30 USD and it's not exactly very cheap. I think mean, 30 USD you can actually get something that's quite good. And sorry if let's say my stitch legs is here with his backside. I just like to hug onto something because just like to hug onto something when I'm leaning forward because my laptop is dead and I'm actually using my phone to film and you can see my fan right there. It's kinda noisy but um next moving on um I got this uh Next, as if it's your natural skin concealer stick. Okay, and um, this is actually 0.04 ounce, 1.2 gram, and it's in the color glow. Alright, and 
I'm actually quite um how should I say? I don't really like this kind of stick thing because it tends to get very dirty over the rim area and I always believe that you should actually keep everything clean because you're gonna apply it onto your face, especially under your eye everything. So I just don't like it to be contaminated or something. So usually I have the habit of wiping them away. But um this is the colour. It's actually appearing um like the thing it is. Of course my sight is actually quite dark now but my camera does a good job at filming so this is the amount of product that you get I mean quite a lot and this is after I actually used it so let me do a swatch for you it's actually here it's, it's more like um my own skin tone here the dark texture so what I need to do is that I just need to clean. I like to pat my concealer and zoom, it's gone. It's not even there. This one, oops. I'm sorry, the camera just dropped and very sorry. And um, I think it's good to actually go under the more oily area because it's relatively dry and because I have like oily combination skin, so I think it worked pretty fine. And um, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> next, what I got is this uh, NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This is the high definition mineral and rich type free paraben free concealer. This is how it looks like. If you actually compare the um, color. This is actually like the correct. This is actually much lighter than this one. So if you have if you have a dark concealer, of course you can actually use it to like do contouring and such. And um, this uh, HD one I got it is in medium. Not focusing. As in, is in medium. So. It's actually a worn applicator. Swatch it. This is actually um, much closer to my skin tone, if you can see. So if you just turn it around. It's actually there. If you swatch it here at the darker area, see? It does cover, but of course, um, this concealer you can actually build it up, and I think so far the consistency is pretty good. No complaint about it so far. Okay, next I got some elves here, and um, the very first one that I want to talk about is um, this. I think this is from their studio range. The e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter, this is how it looks like. It looks quite fair, right, compared to this. Actually, this is fairer than this. This is more like with a pink undertone. Um, and um, the color that I've got is in medium glow. I don't know why it's not focusing, but medium glow. And uh, usually you would you shake it first. I mean the packaging is pretty alright but I don't enjoy this this shit here. I will show you why later but let me show you this colour how it is. So same thing is a worn applicator. Um, I'm actually gonna do see this dark patch here and do it here. Okay? That's a tiny little dip. Um actually it's quite a little bit more watery than the next one, but um, not very um, high coverage. But at least it does a bit of concealing. Maybe like more to like light to medium. There, it's still there. So there's a smell to it, and I don't really quite like it. Let me show you the downside of this this white color highlighting thing here, which I actually detest a lot. Same thing on applicator, but um, when you do this, 
Okay, let me blend it out and show you. It's supposed to highlight, right? But that's like, it's like, yes, shimmers and it leaves a white patch. It leaves a white patch there and it's hard for you to blend it out. It's like, there is still a white patch there and I will never use this because there is actually um, a very weird smell to it, which I don't know whether I should use this on my face. So next i've got this uh, i think it's from the studio range as well it's the earth concealer pencil and brush comes with a sharpener and um i don't remember what color is this anymore because i threw away the packaging but it's it's um i think it's pretty all right but i'm just worried about this metal thing here because you have to like tweeze it and um it's a little bit dirty because of all the product that's in the cat itself so this is how it looks like it's just like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil but this is slightly smaller and it's actually a concealer so let me find a spot why don't we try the scars okay then what is that? the pencil chunk is looking off Here, there. I don't know what is this for, but I think it's to actually help them like blend it out or something. But this thing is only like medium coverage. If you want a heavy duty coverage thing, I don't think you should rely on rely on this thing. Next is this. Uh, oh, this is actually like a primer, but I sort of like use it as my eye. Um, concealer for this correlation and this is the elf eye primer and liner seller what is the color that i got this is um neutral clear you know what is this because there's no name on it so it's more like concealer if you ask me more like concealer and you know, it's like very yellow undertone why would you have a primer in this color what if um, you know someone with a darker skin tone is actually using this so let me see actually okay let's do this it's actually quite um, creamy so you just need a tiny little bit of it I think this is pretty alright, but um, it's more of a primer than a concealer. But of course, if you want to actually, you know, hide your discoloration by all means, and it come with this liner thing, which I have yet to use at all. I think you have to dip it in your eyeshadow that you want, and then you just line it. But I feel that it might be a bit dirty because it will stain the white tip, and it's gonna be very difficult to remove it. Okay. I'm gonna cut it short now and the last but not least is the uh, one of the items that I got from all the slots which I requested. This is the um, Hot Candy Glamour Fudge Heavy Duty Concealer. Um, Cash Imperfection Super Performance. That's how it looks like and um, it's in the color medium. And it actually comes with a pencil with form as well but um, this thing actually um, goes a very long way, just a tiny little bit. But of course, I would suggest that you actually give it a, a shake first. Because when you keep it in the in the tube, you know, it's gonna be a bit... It's like, I, I like this squeezy bottle tube thing. And just need a tiny little bit. Oops. These are actually the oil, so I'm gonna wipe it away. I'm not too sure but recently I realized that when I'm using this item there's actually um you know oil coming out. So I think maybe it's the mineral oil that's being used inside. So let me get it there. Yep. Okay. This is the amount that I need for both eyes.
it's, it's really quite um, concentrated so let me just I'm without any makeup now and not even foundation or tinted moisture just one dot here and then one dot here okay Because I like to do an inverted V. Can you see that a tiny little bit can do so much for you? See? And it, it, it really brightens up. And the remaining that I have on my finger, actually, you can actually use it on my lid. See that? Look, look at the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye is smaller, so... This side has got less uh, concealer, but see, it still um, brighten up quite a bit. So, but of course, if you are looking from far, you have that white thing going on. So, good for usage. If you need concealer, it's actually very beautiful. And um, let's talk about this uh, pencil thing that comes along with it. The pencil, and I think it's the same shade. Let me um, do a demonstration to you. It's actually quite a small one, just more like a tester, and it's similar shade, just like in pencil form. So let's see if, okay, for the example, this thing, just that tiny little blend mist color that I want to cover. Do you see that it's still there? So this thing, not good, but I just went off again by itself, I'm so sorry. But this is so far one of the best ones that I like, but you need to be very careful with the oil inside. So you need to squeeze out quite a bit. That's how I'm looking at my you know, tissue right now that I'm going to throw. And um, basically this is about it. So. Um, let me know if let's say um, you're looking at any sort of review or whatever items you're looking at I see if I can actually get them here locally in Singapore and um, anyway the swap is still going on I'm actually still expecting some of the items to come in so once it's in I will upload and share with you guys you girls whoever are watching on um, what I actually got for my swap and I'm not too sure if uh, I'm gonna actually continue doing that because I actually got contacted by some scammer which I talked about in my last video so and ironically is that someone who doesn't um, do video and recently just joined actually questioned me like who was that person I'm beginning to suspect that maybe you know they are friends or whatever but just be very cautious about it if you want to know who let me know under comment or you can just uh, inbox me i'll just reply you with uh, that person's link or channel because suddenly she just disappeared and i think it's pretty good that she just disappeared so basically that's it okay stay tuned for um uh, keep that boogie boogie away stay um subscribe and I'm um, sorry if let's say the uploading is a little bit slow um, just bear with me I'm having more videos coming out and some books etc so see you ladies soon bye